guys, Susan here. Okay, we're gonna be working on the bottom part of the skirt in this episode, but I think I'm gonna need some fabric. So let's get that, and that's what's next. Last episode, guys, we cut this lace on the flat. We measured it, we calculated it, and we cut it out. And I started to just pin it over here because I didn't want to just put a gathering thread on it yet because I was just wanting to see how it was going to perform. And it looks a little skimpy to me. I'm not really liking it. I don't want it to be completely sheer down here. So I think I need to get some fabric. So we're going to go to Joanne Fabrics and we're going to get some backing or lining for this bottom part of the skirt. So come along, let's go. Just a little prep before we go to the store. We need to get some measurements so we know we're actually going to be buying, right? So we know that this piece was about 30 inches long. Now I want to gather it on the length, not on the cross grain. So that means I'm going to have to have 32, 33 inch in, in length times two, because I noticed that this piece here is about 60 inches. I'm hoping the fabric is going to be that wide guys. So we're going to, I'm measuring the bottom of this right now. And when I measure it all the way to the center or where my thread marking is, it's about 60 inches. So maybe I'll get one seam in the back and in the front and we'll get that skirt actually on the back of this lace. And let's do that now. Okay, so I'm in the store and I brought my lace with me and I brought this other lining with me. Remember in the first episodes, I had two different linings. I had a Bemberg lining and I had this stretch lining that I kind of like. If I'm gonna use this on the corset, I wanna use it on the bottom as well because all blacks are not the same and this black's a little bit lighter. So let's go find it, okay? Let's go get it. I'm gonna be looking for the linings that should be right around the corner here. And here we go, here are the linings. Okay, so here are the Bemberg linings that I got. That's the traditional rayon lining that you usually use in men's suits, but women use it a lot also. It's also often used in couture because it's more of a natural fiber, so to speak. It's not straight polyester. It's usually made out of rayon or viscose. But I found this other lining, let's find it. It says it has a little bit of a stretch to it. So let's find the one that has a stretch to it. And we found it, woohoo! I think this might be it. I think this might be it. Let's see, the color is the same. It is, so we found it, great. Hopefully I'm gonna have enough of this fabric. See, it has a little bit of a stretch going on. Um, I don't need it for the skirt, but I want the color to be the same. I want the lining to be consistent. I don't want it to be mismatched. Even though we don't really need a stretch on the bottom. And the lace looks really pretty on it right it has a little bit of a dimension the black on the lace is actually darker but that's okay i think i like the the contrast it has a little bit of uh, sheerness to it so i think it'll probably work for the lining otherwise let's check out maybe tool underneath this let's check that out first this is the lace right and this is our illusions these are the illusion is the very very fine kind of netting it's not the stiff netting but i'm not sure how comfortable that's going to be underneath the skirt i want it to be luscious i want the person to feel luscious inside and out so if i take this out let's try this illusion okay and i put that up against the um, lace it's going to be sheer it's just going to look like more lace is underneath without any re-embroidering but i'm not sure if i want that the actual sketch that i had really doesn't show it as completely sheer showing leg i want a completely different look for this gown so i think we're going to stick to the stretch lining that we have over here and this stretch lining is poly and spandex and it is very unusual. I have not used this before and I'm excited to use it. So let's go get it cut. So I brought the tape measure for a reason. I need to have four sections instead of two sections because this fabric is only 45 inches wide. It is not 60 inches wide. So I cut, uh, I had them cut 31 inches times four. And that's why I brought the tape measure just to make sure that's what I wanted. So we have the four sections cut. 
so the line was kind of long i decided just to have it cut and it's all ready for us so we're going to check out and we'll get back to the lace gown project we're going to get back in the house see you there okay we got the lining for the bottom part of the skirt so we can work on this next week okay guys all right it's so enough for today and give me a thumbs up if you like this video share this video subscribe and i'll see you in the next one she wants to go out again all right bye bye